Yesterday, he went 116.3 in practice in his qualifying simulation run. That's the number to beat right now, 116.3. And he does it. <laughs> a whole second. Oh, my yeah, goodness. This one of Vaughan was very close to the end of the sector. So 15.6, and it was an average final sector for Brad Vaughan. So Kyle Allen with that 15.3. Apparently holds the top spot. Holy smokes, that's fast. We have oh. a replay here. James Martin and Shane Beekoff. A little bit of a misunderstanding there as they make their way down into turn two. Oh, no, we've got two off down here. So one of them is Shane Beekoff in the AU Falcon. Huh? Four, it, but he was going slowly. It doesn't make any sense. If that is him, we'll go now red flag. So that's it for this one. We won't restart. So there's our pole man, Kai Allen. Got the job done. done. Both the armor all poles in Perth. He's the form guy. Three out of four so far this year. Now, just to clarify something here, in the Porsches earlier, we said that the mount in different groups, and they start in different groups on the grid. That is not the case for the Dunlop series. Wherever Kai Allen finishes in the order here is where he'll start. So we could have a jumbled grid as we've had so far this year between Super 2 and Super 3. But it's actually Tickford who have the record here. Six Polo Awards for them. I wonder how much attention Supercars drivers will be paying to this, particularly that they're on the same Dunlop tyre that they're going to be using a bit later today. Shane Vengisberg said at the press conference, completely different aero package. There's nothing to learn from watching these cars out on track right now. Oh, I think you could learn a little bit about tyre warm-up, how the tyre comes in, and have an understanding of that. So Cameron Hill, he goes fastest with a 15-0. Kyle Allen's time still stands for the second row. Everingham third with a 15-1-5. Declan Fraser down with a 15-3. Team have used the opportunity, that almost parade lap to pit lane, to do some tyre warming. And they've put those front tyres on the car and hopefully get a bit of temperature into those front tyres just in that three-quarter lap to the grid. Aaron Seaton goes to the top now, 14.9. Starting off a little bit off the pace also, as the tyre builds temperature. Aaron Seaton's gone for a second push lap and gone to 14.5. He's now out there for a third lap and has set a personal best and session best first sector as Matt Payne starts his final run on his first push lap in the Grove Higher. Nissan Altima. So 14.5, starting to get pretty close to that time we saw from Brock Feeney in the corresponding session last year, 14.2. Now he's had no traffic for his first push lap. But his engineer, Jack Bell, telling him to push on now as he puts the headlights on. And he's going to have a wall of cars warming up their tyres on this lap. So that could be something to watch out for as Charter continues on. On Charter's Towers Road almost. And he goes back up towards the top, potentially well, stays yeah, second for now. Improves his lap time, but not his place. Seaton's Just over flying. one tenth of a second behind Aaron Seaton. And Aaron Seaton's pushing on again on this one. So 14.6 does not improve the last sector. So I think that's a little bit of tyre phasing, Chad. That's Blanchard right behind him. And that's going to affect him, Blanchard's lap as well. Blanchard was on a personal best. He sits third at the moment. Aaron Seaton clinging to the armor pole, but we've got some fast laps to come. Kyle Allen has been slotted down to seventh as Jay Hansen for Image goes up inside the top ten nicely. Jake Fraser now goes to fourth, drops the robot down to sixth. Blanchard, despite the traffic, was good enough to miss the pole by 78,000. Oh, that, that definitely would have been a pole lap for Tim Blanchard should he have not got caught up behind Tyler Everingham here. So Everingham, too much curb at turn seven and then upsets the car and then all wrong at eight. So that lap was over. And you can see in the background, Blanchard, he closed right to the rear bumper of Everingham on that lap. Zach Best is looking good for Tickford. Six poles here, maybe seven. 14-2. So that's, that, that's matched the pole time for Brock Feeney from last year. Best, Everingham, Fraser, the top three. Payne, he's struggling. He's ninth and that's him done. Championship leader down the order. Zach Best, Best to might the last just corner. go quicker again. Tickford have been the form team here at Townsville and Armour qualifying. He led the championship into Perth and it all went wrong there with a the DNF. No improvement, but he doesn't need it for now. Declan Fraser's on a strong lap. He's done a 21-9 to the end of the first sector. That's not far away from the first and the fastest of the session. Flies the curbs nicely. Got to get on the power out of eight and then flat through nine across the bumps at Boundary Street. Down into the braking zone here at Turn 10. Don't lock the rears. Don't overcommit. It's 
line ball with Best. Best's last sector wasn't strong on his last lap. Fraser's car, Taylor, through the second last corner. Don't overdrive the entry. Maximise the drive traction. What will Fraser have? Pluck years, but it will spin off the line. To the line, the last corner for Fraser. What does he have? Does not improve. So the last sector going away for everyone here. Despite that, Robotham was able to get up inside the second row on his last lap. So nice work from Jay, Erebus junior driver. Best Everingham Fraser, Robotham seat hanging in for a top five. What could have been for Blanchard. That lap was quick early on and maybe it would have been his best. And Tickford can celebrate. Dylan Talabani has made that move across to start working with Zach Best. And they've combined here today in the summer sun on the winter sun in Townsville. And they've got the job done again. That's their seventh pole award here in Townsville. And he did pick up a race win here in some speed last year. He was very quick. And that is his second pole award here for Zach Best. Seventh for the team, 40 thousandths of a second. How close do you like it in armor or qualifying? And that is the closest pole margin of the year so far. Well done, Zach Best. Tyler Everingham back on the front row. He's had a few of these so far this year, continuing his form in qualifying. Robotham in the second row. Matt Payne, 10th. That's going to be interesting to watch. Kyle Allen dropped down to 14th, but picked up a couple of Super 2 runners for fun. Nine tenths off the outright pole. Not bad. Not a bad lap time. And then that's how the Super 3 cars washed out. Massive field of cars. Hopefully we get all 32 of them back for what will be the first of two races this weekend. And that was thoroughly entertaining stuff.